Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Code Logic. So today we are going to see how we can develop the faculty management system. So in this series of videos, we have seen uh, we have developed a lot of functionalities like uh, admin login and the uh, dashboard framework uh, we have developed. So uh, in our previous video, uh, we have implemented the front end for the uh, add faculty. So now in this video, we are going to implement the back end for add faculty. So uh, if you are new here then please subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, also uh, share it with your friends and if you want any kind of project then uh, you can contact us on our instagram id we will uh, share your project now without wasting any time let's get started so now first we'll create here a new folder called models and also apart from this we'll create another folder called routes okay now inside model folder we are going to create a new file faculty so this will be our model so here uh, we'll use mongos require mongos now const faculty equal to mongos dot model and inside which we are going to set a name that is faculty and we have added some attributes there like faculty number, faculty name, joining year, birth date, other card, mobile number. Yes. Now uh, we'll go inside our routes and here we'll create a new file. Faculty.ts. Sorry, uh, it should be a JS file. So here also we need to change it to the js rename also we required another file that is admin.js but firstly we'll uh, export faculty so to do that we'll use module.export equal to faculty ok we'll close this file now uh, we'll create another file admin.js const we'll use express we have imported express here now we'll use const router equal to express.router Now we'll create another constant that is mongo type mongo type yes then request sorry require mongos dot type okay now we'll create another constant here faculty equal to require will give a path of faculty file faculty.js file which is present inside a model dot model folder now we'll write a api to post the data inside the database router dot post this is a path slash faculty and uh, this will contain two parameters request and result now we'll create a new faculty object faculty object equal to new faculty object and inside which we are going to add all the properties like faculty number name okay 
which we will get from the request okay we'll change its type request dot mobile request dot other card number okay now uh, faculty object dot save method is there to save the data inside the mongodb database this method will contain two parameters error and doc so if there is an error then we are going to write a message on console and if there is an no error then we are going to send the doc from the result okay sorry response so uh, if there is an error then we are going to write a message error occurred while adding the new entry inside the faculty okay and uh, we are going to return result dot status 400 dot send we'll set message as a internal error and we'll pass error message now we'll go inside app.js file app.use admin okay here uh, we'll change name of admin.js to admin routes and faculty.js to faculty routes and inside app.js we are going to create a new constant the admin routes and we'll pass path of admin routes.js file okay now we'll use app.use method and we have set the admin routes here uh, the data is coming inside request dot body uh, so we need to update that to request body okay we have updated that okay and uh, we'll need to export module dot export admin routes sorry router now inside of front end we are going to create a new service inside admin service folder admin data okay will remove that dot ts service now here uh, we'll create a new url which is of type string and we'll assign a value that is https colon double slash localhost on this port our backend application is running and we are passing the url as admin slash faculty here you can see we have written new method add new faculty so now uh, here we'll inject data service now type admin data
now inside a service file we are going to write a new method there add faculty this is of type observable faculty Now here we will use return but before that we need to import the HTTP client so to do that we will use import from angular common slash HTTP uh, we need to use the HTTP only and uh, we'll import HTTP client and inside the constructor we are going to inject that HTTP client as a HTTP and now we'll call a post method on that HTTP which is of type faculty and we'll pass the URL which we have created earlier and uh, this add faculty should get a parameter faculty object of type faculty and we'll pass that faculty object inside our post method okay so now uh, here inside of faculty data dot component dot ts file in faculty object we need to fill the data and we need to pass the faculty object to the service admin data service so to do that we'll use faculty name uh, we'll get data from faculty details form dot value dot faculty name So it is taking some time. Okay, now uh, we'll copy paste that seven to eight times, and we'll update its respective values. To faculty name, email, password. now uh, f to get the faculty number we need to write a new method there get faculty ID so we'll define new method here get faculty ID okay which is uh, of written type number and uh, here we need to define one array of uh, faculties equal to empty Okay, now here faculty number and uh, if faculty faculty is dot length is exactly equal to zero then we are going to return one value otherwise we are going to return all faculties dot length plus one now we'll change uh, its values because uh, we forgot to do that okay 
okay then uh, data service dot add faculty we are going to pass that faculty object and uh, we are going to subscribe to that method and we'll see the result and error so if result is there then we are going to call the ng init on init method and we are going to write console.log faculty added successfully and if error is there then we are going to write the error message into the console on in it we're going to assign all faculties to empty so that's it for the video do you have any suggestions or doubts you can contact us on our instagram id code logic thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye